Ladies and gentlemen, opening this guy on this channel is history. Long last we have Dooku. Yeah, this is history outside tray. That was really hard bubble to get get into that, which means that they're probably back to their best in the vintage collection. You've got a harder cardstock. The waffle is secure. There's been some terrible card backs with weak bubbles and bad glue in the past, but this is it. I thought I would film it in here, ladies and gentlemen, because I, I couldn't not film Dooku for the first time. And I had to do it in natural light. You know what I mean? I usually do my quick shots or reviews of individual figures in my carded room, but this is an exception. I'm not going to waffle on about the history of Dooku in this channel because it's not just me. Every guy or girl in TVC has wanted this character. But just type in Vintage Collection Dooku and I'm sure you'll find another one of my videos. But alas, we move on. We've got him now and well done Hasbro. There was a point in time when I just would have had a repacked Dooku. I swear to God, I just wanted the card back just to fill that gap. I would have taken a repack, but they always had the potential to do a really good figure. I haven't set him up yet, but as you would have seen in other reviews and just even looking at him right now, they have done a good job. They've done it justice, but I will get him set up. I'm going to put him on, an, on one of these new stands as well, which is nifty. Speaking of peg stands, let's just see if the peg holes are... No. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. He... That's not too bad. I mean, not all of the new... Yeah, I don't think I want him on two, but he fits on one all right. Not all the new peg holes are shallow. Maybe they have done something to correct that. Wow. Or maybe, I don't know. Some figures are ridiculously shallow. That, that's quite nice to know that he fits on an old one. You see how angular that comes out? It kind of goes out like that. Some people have taken some bad photographs of this figure. You just need to adjust him a bit. But yeah, he looks good, man. That shot there reminds me of it's the scene after capturing obi-wan he walks through silhouetted through some doors <laughs> brilliant traitor oh no my friend i've gone too far this is madness that's great i haven't even started yet and i'm loving how it falls on him now my plan for dooku was i've got a section here called or well, i call it the wall of sith it's just all Ancient Lords of the Sith, from Malgus to Malak to Revan to Bane. If you've got Darth in your title, you're on there. And I wanted only the best figures for each character on there, so that's where I thought he would be bound, but he's so good that I'd be tempted on... Um, starting to populate him here. There's some good figures of Dooku, don't get me wrong, and they serve a purpose up there. But, I'm just saying... Even middle-aged Kiwi man said, Mac McSwift, he would get a couple, easy. He wanted one for lightning, one for lightsaber, but just having him stood there as a political figure, I'm enjoying that. And it brings us back to the issue of Krennic. What the hell? What are they doing with him? Why did they give him hard goods? That was such a cop-out. They could have given him this cape or variant of that in, in white. Surely that's the same kind of thing as what Krennic has. Anyway, no, doesn't matter. It's done now. I'm happy with the peg hole. I wasn't expecting that. They look shallow, but they actually, they can, can accommodate that width peg, which is a modern era peg. Let's have a look at Ian's display accessories peg. Let's not get confused with Ian's. This is Ian Butler from IB3D, which is the Landspeeder Luke model. Yeah, this is the Ian from Ian's display accessories modern stand. Ian spelt differently. It's I-A-I-N. And these are slightly taller, but he fits on that. I hope you don't mind this waffle on peg stands, peg stands sizes and depths and blah, blah, blah. But I know people are interested in that. But thankfully, he does fit on a normal peg stand because I'd be quite angry if he didn't. It would have wrecked my day, but it, not anymore anyway, because for anything that's too shallow, I'm using these. Go check out my review on them. They're great. I'll try them on that one as well. Let's just get this guy set up. This is going to be a longer video probably than normal because I'm interested in this. This is a figure that I've been waiting for forever. I'm going to look a little closer at his articulation. Let's put his arms up like that. 
really multi-articulated. Usually I don't go into such detail, depth on my videos. Let's pull that head off a minute. Oh, hang on. I don't want to pull the head off, actually. I've changed my mind. I guess it's a barbell head. I guess it's a barbell head. Um, this figure you could use on, you could replace all your Dooku's with this basically. It's nice to have a variety of era of figures, I find in my collection anyway, but what I'm saying is you could have three different types, standing with no lightsaber, standing with lightsaber, standing with lightning. Let me just see if I can arrange this, what the hell am I doing? Oh my god, I've got him totally skew whiffed. I'm not quite sure what I am doing here, actually. Oh, there you go, I've, I've arranged him. I just have to jer jer jiggle it. Rearrange him. Jer jer jiggle it, that's a, a British comedy reference from Open All Hours. Right, let's do a classic. Quick shots, shot. Figure on the right, card on the left. He's arrived, ladies and gentlemen. That bulge at the back makes him now look like he's got a hood, which he does in the Clone Wars. But it's just the way that the thing rooks up. Oh, a bit creased there, but that's, you know, don't particularly want to iron him. Got a classic quick shot shot here on the turntable. Let's just go handheld on him. I don't quite like the way he's looking there. He looks like the, very hunched, which a lot of shots of him have looked hunched, but... Don't forget, he could have a hood in there. He did in the Clone Wars, but not really necessarily in, you know, Attack of the Clones and Re Revenge of the Sith. He's wearing a cape like Vader's. This kind of job, you know what I mean? Very lordy. Very regal. Aristocratic, should we say. Just going to get a couple of shots of him rotating. Again, I'm not totally happy with how I've got him posed. I just wanted to give you a quick shot. No pun intended. For the rest of this video, I think I'm going to get him off the turntable. And just have a look, look at what we can do with him. He holds his saber like that as well, doesn't he? I like him with his arms down because he does do a lot of... Look at that shot. That's nice. I'm not going to rotate him. So we just get a locked off shot. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Christopher Lee, isn't it? I think they've done a tremendous job with this facial sculpt. Really nice. And middle-aged Kiwi has done this as well. But if you compare him to older figures, even the previously considered best figures, they they now look real bad. Ridiculous. They're still all right, like, but mm, it's the skirt, you see. I think I'm going to relegate them just to some Clone Wars shelves and stuff, you know, get them here and there, but this is your go-to guy now. Look at that. Facial sculpt is phenomenal. Nice to see that Clone Wars Walker in the background as well. Now the cloth is, yeah, different color on the inside, as it should be. Darker brown on the outside. Whereas this was like, Weird, it was like two layers sewn onto each other, so it made it thicker, bulkier. Um, easier man, isn't he? Let's try the lightning. <coughs> this might look weird, kid. I just I'm gonna get you a shot like that, it just pinged at me. He's not looking at his target, he's looking at, at us, the camera, but his lightning's going off in that direction, but it still looks good. You could obviously get the alignment right. You see, that cape is manageable. You just swivel it round until you get the right fall. I've seen some bad photography of this figure where you've got like these big bulges and it does happen, but you just got to work with it. And that falls nicely like that. Look at that shot. That's great. I'm loving it. It's probably the longest quick shot I've ever. Should we call it a quick? Should we call it a long shot? The Dooku special. That's great, isn't it? Wow. Again, I never liked Dooku. If you're new to my channel, I've always said that originally he annoyed me when I watched the Attack of the Clones. I was like, "What's going on?" 
like you know, Obi Wan was out of his depth, and you'd see enough Darth Maul, and Darth Maul way more dangerous and sinister and fast and agile. But this fellow obviously had a power, a mental capacity or whatever over Obi Wan. He could smash that saber into him, and he beat him. He outmatched him. Master Kenobi, you disappoint me. And the whole thing of, I can't take Dooku alone. <laughs> like, Come on, man. Yes, you can. This old dude, who is he? Who are you? Let's have a look at the hands here. The lightning coming out. Kiwi Man did a comparison with the Sidious fingers. They looked a little bit more red from the tips. But do you know what, man? I'm thinking I'd like three of this. I'd have three loose, man. I swear to God. Lightning. Saber. Political. Now, I've lost the inside tray. Where's the loose lightsaber? Just bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Aha, let me not forget the loose lightsaber's there. I want to put that on his belt. Oh, I've got a great idea for a shot for you. I'm going to put him with Sidious from Phantom Menace, which is how Sidious looked in Attack of the Clones. I have good news for you, my lord. War has begun. So let me get him ready. I want to sort of swivel his waist forward a bit so that we can see that saber. I like that, like that. Let me go and get Sidious, hang on. I currently have this Sidious stood with this young custom of Dooku, depicting how he looked in the Tales of the Jedi. Kill her. Show your loyalty to me. Or whatever he says. Brilliant. Or well, excellent, I should say. Everything is going as planned. Now I said brilliant because they look brilliant. I want to put in more on an angle. I never like that figure. And that's better. This is awesome, isn't it? <laughs> I better get by in a few more, man. Before we get... I don't know the future. I don't know how many they make of these figures. Maybe they'll be less available if the world and his wife goes out and buys this in bulk. But I definitely want more than one of this guy loose. Took you long enough, so that's a bit annoying. So, But thank you for finally doing this figure. Pulse, Hasbro, whoever makes the decisions. It's a long time coming, but it was worth the wait. That's phenomenal. I don't know if there's any more I can say about articulation. If you want to check some of the reviews, do. I'm hardly, I'm hardly new to the, um, the scene with regards to reviewing him. He's been out for a while. Tim's had one out. Forces with Jesse was the, probably one of the first, I think. Middle-aged Kiwi. Now there's me. And there's others, but... Before I finish, I haven't really shown you the car back. The car back image I really liked. I always imagined the card having him with a lightsaber, but it is difficult because, like I said to you before, when he ignites it, it's going downwards. He does hold it up a few times. I like it when the first image of him when he first ignites it and the sound's incredible. The hum. It's brilliant. He's got a Luke Skywalker ignition sound as well from Return of the Jedi, that. Really icy sound, but he's got a few different sounds. There's a great video on a guy who catalogued all the different ignition sounds and how they mashed it up a lot in the prequels. But the car back image I'm happy with because at least you've got something there that's bright, like a saber, is lightning. And let's not forget how amazing it was. I remember in the cinema when he did fire off that lightning. I thought, oh my God, whoa, he is a Sith. Oh, it was. I just, I just thought to myself, I've not seen anyone do that since 1983. With the Emperor, which is quite a nasty thing to do, isn't it? Fire and lightning was evil, isn't it, man? It looks evil. Thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. Quick look at the back. Here we are now, VC07. But Has Hasbro, here's another moan at you. That's garbage. Why didn't you... Um, what would be the first figure for Dooku? Oh, it would be this thing here, wouldn't it? That one there, which I've just relegated to the back to stand with him. His cape's missing because I've put it on this custom here. Yeah, well, I've put that on. This guy suits him better. fits on him better, actually. The custom young Dooku. But really, that should be on the back there. Um, that or... Um, and here's that other figure there that I told you about. There's another good one, but that's just doing a job fighting Anakin there. So they've all got a job to play, but that is the best, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching that video, and thank you... Hasbro for finally doing it, man. And where would you rank that against the six inch version, huh? I'd say this beats it, man. Three and three quarter inch. One more for the good guys. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been only one Kenobi.
Only one. Keep 3.75 alive. Out.